What is going on guys? This is Dombey, capital D, three Ys, and uh, you know there's two guys there, I don't want to fight them. Wait a minute, yes I do. Get shit on. And uh, what about this guy? He thinks I'm reloading. I'm not reloading, pimp. I'm going to get you as well. And you know, we don't want any of the little bitches sneaking up on us, do we? So we're going to put that purple radar down. And uh, we're going to get you. And I think there's another one. We're going to... No, uh, it's okay. It's okay, lads. Oh, I got away. I got away. So, uh, but in this game, I'm going to be using the Manimal class. Which I've used before, which is the UMP Rapid Fire Extender Mags, and it is pretty good. We're going to shoot that guy in the back, go into the Predator Missile, and get the single kill, because, yay, single kill. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, this is a domination on downturn, which is a 54 to 3, and uh, we're going to get these scorpions out, but now we've got a few more shots in this UMP, we're going to get you. And uh, uh, are we going to kill both your buddies? Are we, oh, 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 no, oh, no, and, um... We're going to ignore this bit of the video, because I ain't Blade, baby. And uh, we're going to cut out some of the boring bits and get straight back into the action. We're going to headshot this guy. And uh, and so, yeah, I've just been having a lot of fun using this class. It's My gun's almost gold, but I was actually using it a couple of days ago. For the past day, I've just been using the model, trying to get damage on it, and I still haven't got it yet, because that gun sucks dick. But we're going to get you, and we're going to pick up your little body with the drop shot. And then, who said I weren't Blade, baby? But yeah, as I said, I was just sitting here, playing COD, getting mad, trying to use the model, as per usual. And uh, I was just reminiscing on the good old days of Fallout 3. And, you know, Fallout New Vegas was cool. It was a good game. But Fallout 3 was the pinnacle of that series. It was the best. It, uh, what, what what year was it? Was it 2008, I want to say? So it was uh, like four years ago now, and it was epic. And... They, I, I th I'm pretty sure they've said they're not going to make any more Fallouts, but if they do make like a Fallout 4, this is what I want. This is my Fallout 4 wish list. Fallout 4 needs to have an ending where the game does not fucking end, okay? You did it in Fallout 3 and everyone complained, so you did it in New Vegas as well. Now, uh, we have a, I've, I've had this conversation at school and, you know, the... the the reason is obvious. It's because there'd be too many different endings or whatever. But I don't give a fuck. Get your brain working. I want to play the game after I finish it. I don't want the game to just end. So I have to go back to a previous save. Uh, I want the game to be longer. I want the map to be bigger. And I want... Um, I want there to be characters that live and die naturally. And um, that you can have real kind of conversations with that change so that if you go and speak to say Moira in Megaton the uh, speech options when you start the game are going to be similar or the same as when you're finishing the game. I want the speech options to change depending on if she's in a pissy mood or if she's in a good mood or you know that'd be hard to program in but you know this is 2012 bitch that's what I want. I want it to be able to to have an online experience, and this is going to sound very, very like Call of Duty, and it is because I'm a Call of Duty fanboy, but I want this. Imagine Fallout 3, where each city, each major town, each major area was a map for multiplayer team deathmatch game modes. So in Megaton, you could have team deathmatches in there, but that's not my main multiplayer idea. I want a multiplayer experience, which is just the single player, but... Uh, has loads of people on the map, so a bit like Borderlands, but in Borderlands, when you um, go into a new area, it takes everyone with you. I don't want that in Fallout. I want to be able to be doing something in Megaton, and my mates over there in River City, and we all try, we all just get our pit boys out, and we all travel to Tenpenny Tower. You know, you know, that's what I want. Like, we, you can be in different places, could be doing different things. But uh, there should also be an option on your map that shows where your other friends are. And I think that would be a cool thing. Um, what else do I want? I want more guns. I want more attachments. Um, I want there to be more monsters because they it seemed like they got a little bit lazy. They put a lot of the Fallout 3 stuff in. The suit immunes, the death claws, all that stuff. They, they took out the behemoths. Now one of the really fun things to do um, for Fallout 3 was to try and find all the behemoths. I'm, I think I managed to find four of them. And there was one where you had to look in a bin, no, in a look at a trolley and pick up a bear, and then it would come. So it was like, who the fuck found that? Who was the first person to find that? That was retarded. 
But I looked on YouTube to find that one. And there was another one in a town where you had to go through the metros to get. And uh, I couldn't find it, so I looked on YouTube for that. But find the Bayamoss was a real fun thing to do. And I don't know why they don't implement another... Why didn't they put that in New Vegas? You know, the Bayamoss. They were, they were a really good addition. Um, the strip in New Vegas was piss poor. Um, I know that's representative of the time period like the strip will look like that at, in the 1950s wherever they try and base base their little time error on but uh, that was a little bit a little bit poor what when I said they were gonna put the strip in, I was expecting loads so what if they made Fallout 4 I like I want a whole city you know that's uh, am I asking for too much I don't fucking think so and it, do you know what if if it's a case of that would require so much effort that you wouldn't be able to do DLCs, then don't sell DLCs and just make the game 80 quid or something, because they normally sell games for 40 quid. Sell it for 80. I would happily pay 80 for a well-made Fallout 4 with all of them that fits all of the requirements I just suggested. There are many more. This may have to run into a different video. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, uh, the final score is 54 and free. I'd love to hear your ideas for a, a new Fallout game in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, so see you guys. Peace!